Oh, hi, Dan, you're back. Did you finally kick Mr. Dingle out? Did you get everything out of the house? Yes, but I d d don't know if I could keep d d d doing this job. It's very difficult. Look, the first week is always the most trying, but hang in there. Oh, and if it's got you down, there it is. Why don't you try this group? I think it'd be a good outlet for you. Well, I guess I could try it. Do you have any questions? Is this a support group for d d d d d deck collectors? Yes, it is. Come in. Please sit over there. Introduce yourself. I am d d d d Dan Sagan. Do you have some kind of problem with D's? Oh, just sit down. We're running late. Um, it's time to get started. We start with our creed. Debt collecting, collecting is our job. job. Debt collecting is not who we are. We, we work to support our families and pay off our own debts. We are, we are not, not bad people. We experience love and joy like everyone else just not during working hours. Very good. Dee Dee, you look eager. Would you like to go first? Sure. Last week a case landed in my lap. I had to repossess a paternity house. It was my job to get them to unload all of their junk. And it was in and out and in and out, over and over again. Wrap it up, Double D. I need a cigarette. I did what I had to do but I feel so dirty about it now. Oh, please. You think you got it rough? Try doing a foreclosure on a 50-bed nursing home. Those old prunes didn't want to go. I was just trying to do my job, but I got hit with a flying set of dentures. Thank you for your story, Donna. We'll work through the anger together. Dave, you seem to be simmering over there. Is there something you'd like to tell us? This week was awful. Maybe my worst week since I started working. I had to, I had to repossess a, an ice cream truck. <laughs> it was horrible. He had just opened up for business and, and the kids were buying stuff and I got the truck all settled up and, and I lifted it up and I started driving away and Mr. Robinson comes banging on my window and he's like, ah, and I start driving away and I'm like freaking out because I'm looking in the mirror and there's kids flying left and right and I don't know what to do and I think I may have hit one or two of them. It's horrible. And then, but then I got back and there's a kid in the back in his underpants and he says, Mr. Robinson promised me his push It was horrible. It was horrible. Well, did you give it to him? I was <laughs> not good. Okay, everyone. Okay. Let's get rid of these sad tears. So, Dan, you've seen how this works. This is a safe place. We're here to listen. Would you like to tell us what brought you here? Well, I did don't know how you people d d do this. 
It's my first week on the job, and I had to kick someone out of their own home. It was this elderly man with terminal hemorrhoids, and he couldn't pay his bills. And as part of my job, I had to take every last thing out of his home. I mean, he had nothing. But I did. I took it. I took it all. <laughs> Thank you for that story, Dan. It helps to let it all out. Eventually, you'll learn to roll with it. It looks like you already have. Well, let's end this session with another... Or shake off.